All right, I think right now most people realize that it's not a good idea to use your breath to inflate your air mattresses when you go camping or hiking for a couple of reasons. One, over time, all that moisture that you're introducing to the air mattress could create an environment for mold or bacteria to grow. But more importantly, even in the short term, the moisture that you're introducing could negatively inf uh, affect or impact the insulative material, making your pad less warm. So the Alternatives are some type of an inflation device. Now, better mattresses often come with some type of device you can use to inflate them. I have a few mattresses that actually use, it's like a big dry bag, an open-ended dry bag, and on one end it has an attachment for the inflation valve on my air pad, and basically you capture air in it, roll it up, and push it into the air mattress. They work, they're effective, they're lightweight, they're pretty much foolproof in a lot of ways but they're labor intensive. It takes quite a while to use them to inflate your mattress and a bit of a learning curve on just how to use them to their best effect. So a lot of people are turning to electronic portable battery operated air pumps to go with them and they have some real value. They have the value of being very quick to inflate your air mattress without introducing any moisture but they usually have uh, other features to make them more versatile such as a built-in lamp or flashlight and a power bank function. Well, I've reviewed at least one on my air, on my channel, so now I have another one I want to share with you. This is the Yantu AM25 portable air pump. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this device, keep watching. All right, I'd like to begin by thanking Yantu for sending me the AM25 portable air pump so that I could share it with you. And of course, what we'll do now is go down to the tabletop. I'll go over its key features, its uh, physical specifications, its performance specifications, quickly how it operates, and then I'll demonstrate it on one of my air mattresses. All right, just before we take a closer look at the Yantu AM25 portable air pump, I'll share with you what it came with. Now, I did get rid of the box, but I did keep this little Ziploc bag that also came with it. Important to have because you've got a couple of parts that you want to keep in one place so you don't lose them. So those parts include manual and warranty information, which is a nicely well laid out, USB Type-C charging cable, and what is considered to be four different um, adapters for different products. So you have these two, this one for beach balls, I guess, and maybe a few others, this one. Now, these two actually are considered one item by the, let's, let's put it this way, that's an adapter by itself, but this is the universal adapter, this gray silicone, and to make it work, you put it into the base of this one, there you go, and now you can use this on a great number of products that the other adapters don't work on. In fact, this is what I'm going to be using for demonstration today because none of these other ones fit the air mattress that I'll be demonstrating it on. And, uh, you know, it works really well. You, the only difficulty, not difficulty, the only challenge is you have to keep pressure against the inflation valve on the air pad so that the air will go in. But other than that, it works just fine. Let me just put all of those pieces aside, bring this back in. So the key features for this, well, it has a couple of things. It does have the pump and it also has a light. The pump actually is a two-speed pump and it has its own button for operation here. The light itself has a three lumen settings plus SOS and it has its own light function here. So separate from the pump, which is great. And as I mentioned before, I believe I did, it is a power bank as well. So there's the USB Type-C input port and the USB Type-A output port there. Great, let's get into the physical specifications for this light. So the weight, and that's probably one of the things people are most interested in, if they, especially if they're backpacking, 5.57 ounces or 158 grams. At its length, 2.87 inches, 73 grams. And Diameter, width, I guess, either way you want to look at it, 2.08 inches, 53 grams. Now, the battery inside is bigger than I thought it would be because it's not a standard size battery. I don't know what they might have. They may have two 18350 batteries inside. I'm not sure. There's nothing in the materials that suggests what size it is. Certainly not an 18650 battery because it's not quite long enough the best of what I can determine here. In either case, 3,600 milliamp hours. Not bad, not bad at all. So that gives you lots of inflation, 
uh, lots of illumination and a power bank for recharging those indispensable items like your cell phone. So the inflation pressures are kind of cool. It will run at 4.8 kPa, which is also known as 0.36 PSI pounds per square inch. The inflation speed, 350 liters per minute, when runtime, total runtime on the battery, just using it with the fan itself or the, the pump itself is 65 minutes. So as I mentioned, that's a pretty good long runtime. You know, if you used it only to inflate your air mattress, each night you're staying out, that's two months, you know. So yeah, you get lots of inflation. So you don't have to worry about inflation so much as, you know, just don't overuse the lamp, I guess. Now, I did compare this against a lamp that I, or a pump that I previously tested, which was the Flextail Tiny Pump 2. And rather than give you a side-by-side -side or all the other specifications, I'll put a link to that review in the video description, as well as all the technical information for that one, so you can look at them side-by-side. -side. All right, I'll go over the operation of this very quickly so that I can get to the demonstration. So input port for the air. The air all rushes in through here and is pumped out through here. So there is where you're going to put your adapters on. They go on quite snugly as you would like to have them, and it works like that. Now, as I mentioned, there are two buttons. Let's see if I can give you a close focus on the buttons so you can tell by looking at them which one operates the fan and which one operates the light. To operate either the fan or the light fan, pump actually is what I should be saying, to operate either of them, you double press. So to operate the fan, I warn you now, this is quite noisy. So it came on in low, tapped it again, it gave me high, tapped it again, and it turned the pump off. Now, the other one, the lamp right here, again, works with a double tap. Tap it again, and it goes to high, or medium high, and then tap it again, and it will go to SOS, all right? And then turn the lamp off. Really simple operation, which is exactly what you expect. Let me take you down to the floor and inflate the air mattress as a demonstration. All right, so here is the air mattress that I'm going to inflate, and it has the, the two-piece valve, one where you open up for inflation and then pull the second one for rapid deflation. And as I mentioned, though, none of the adapters I have work well, will fit on this. They're either too big or too small and sit in loosely. So I've chosen to use the universal adapter and just hold it against the outside. Um, as I mentioned, it's less than ideal, but it's effective. So that's why I wanted to demonstrate it because I thought good good way to demonstrate that you can inflate a mattress that you don't have the exact fit uh, one uh, valve adapter to use. So I'm going to turn this on. It will be noisy, but I will let it run in real time so you can see how quickly it does inflate this mattress. So let me turn it on. Oh. There we go. And that's it. So there's the mattress fully inflated. Really, what did that take? 10 seconds, I think, probably. Now, mind you, this is a relatively thin mattress. A thicker one may take a little longer, but 10 seconds isn't very long at all to inflate a mattress. All right, let's wrap this video up with a few closing comments for the Yantu AM25 portable air pump. So features I really like about it. Well, despite its heavier weight than some of the other uh, pumps that I've looked at, I value that because it also means longer run times, more battery life for the lamp as well as the pump or to be using as a power bank. So that's really the positives. Now, there are a few things I want to mention about this that could be considered negatives. First off, when I looked at the instruction manual for this, it stated that it came with a magnet. I said, oh great, a built-in magnet, something I can mount it to if I want to use the lamp. There was no built-in magnet. Not a deal breaker, I was just disappointed that it mentioned that in the manual, but yet did not have uh, that feature on at least this model. Uh, the other thing is, 
it doesn't have a waterproof rating or an impact rating. So I found that a little bit surprising. There's no reason why. It's just a, some, a process that the company has to go through to achieve those ratings. I think had it been given a waterproof and an impact rating, it would have boosted the uh, sales maybe of this device because people would have a little bit more confidence in using it because of course you are taking this camping that's the whole point of this it could risk being dropped and it could risk getting wet so to be honest looking at it i don't know um, how well i guess there are exposed ports here where water could enter as well as the fan here but uh, so maybe it's not something that can be rated for waterproofness so i just point that out because we're getting so used to having all of our devices with an IP rating on them. Not to have one is why is the question often asked. Again, not a deal breaker, just something to be aware of. Okay, that's all I'm going to give you today. All the information I have, including the specifications and the links where you can take another look at this uh, pump will be in the video description below. If you have any comments or questions, put those in the comment section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.